Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be showing you how to build the FT Easy Streak. Now, the FT Easy Streak is a result of a great partnership between Flight Test and our good friends at Power Up. We've gotten to work with Power Up many different times, but this time they came up with a Power Up 4.0 module that is even better than ever for foam board designs. Today we're going to be showing you how to build this, how to tune it, and also how to fly it. Now, we designed the FT Easy Streak with some really cool characteristics. When you fly this, you're going to expect some nice soaring capabilities, which means the plane's going to stay up with very little throttle and give you long flight times. Along with that, you're going to have long sloping burns, and you're also going to have characteristics very similar to what we have in many of our flight test airplanes. And the great folks at Power Up already have pre-configured profiles to give you the best flight performance possible with their new Power Up 4.0 system. So before we start, we're going to go ahead and get our materials in order. That's going to be a hot glue gun, scissors or a knife, two inch tape, and also three quarter inch scotch tape. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. Now before we pop out our pieces here, we're gonna do one step first here that may be a little different than most of the other models. Included on one side of our kit is a little barbecue skewer right here. We're gonna to wanna to confirm or adjust the length of this based off of a little hatch mark we have on our kit on this far side. So all you need to do is you need to just simply lay this hatch mark down and any excess that extends beyond this edge, I'm just gonna take a razor blade. You can also use a piece of pair of scissors. I'm just gonna roll that and crack it off. This is gonna give us the proper length that we need to be able to have the fuselage and the tail and the power pod all make the balance perfect. Now it is possible that your skewer that's included is already perfectly dimensioned to size. If that's the case, you don't need to do any cutting. Our next step is to pop out our pieces. There's our wing. There's our tail. Our wing dihedral gauge and our tail dihedral gauge. We can go ahead and put this to the side. All right, so the first thing that we were gonna be looking to do here is we're gonna go ahead and remove the paper on our main portion of our wing. Just take your time and a nice steady pull is all you need to remove all the paper. Same process on the top side. All right, let's go ahead and remove the paper on the back side of our tail as well. We're gonna go and flip our wing over with the score cut facing down, and we're gonna put a simple piece of tape right on the very bottom. This is gonna give us the extra rigidity we need to make sure that this portion is nice and strong. So I'm just simply gonna take a piece of two inch tape. You're also more than welcome to uh, use three quarter inch scotch tape. I just like the two inch because it's a little bit thicker. We'll smooth that out. You can use a razor blade or you can even use a piece of scissors to cut off any excess that you may have. All right. We're gonna use the barbecue skewer fuselage that we have, and we're gonna carefully just kinda of go down right inside the score cut and open this up just a little bit. Once we kinda of opened up this cavity a little bit, we wanna be able to easily lift up the wing tip so it doesn't fight us all the way to the point where we can slide our dihedral gauge under the wing like you see here. Once you're happy with that, we're gonna come by with a very thin bead of glue, set our dihedral gauge, and then just take a scrap piece of foam and wipe off the excess. Let this dry for a couple minutes before moving on. After a couple minutes here, you're gonna notice that if I remove my dihedral gauge, that the wing doesn't fall at all. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce the center section with the same process we did on the bottom, which is two inches of tape, right centered over the center section of the wing. Now that we have the top section on, let's just go ahead and cut out this portion right here that we see and pull it out. Our wing is done, we're now gonna move on to our tail. We're first gonna start with prepping the tail the same way we did with our wing. That's by putting a little reinforcement piece of tape. Notice I'm starting from the very tip of where the elevators just split off. Just cut off that excess. And we're gonna come back with our barbecue skewer and just using a couple gentle strokes. We're gonna go down just about to the very bottom and open up that cavity. So it bends up nice and easy like that. We're gonna use our angle gauge with the arrow pointing up. Just check our angle. We need to open this up just a little bit more, a little more crush. And once we're happy with that angle, small bead of glue doesn't have to be too excessive. Get our angle there. We'll wipe off any excess that we have and then we'll just hold our angle gauge until everything is thoroughly dry. After about a minute and a half or two minutes, you're gonna notice when I move this away, our little tail doesn't move a bit. Our next step here is we're gonna slowly just angle this up, just slowly. We're just gonna use our fingers to kind of angle up both the fins 
So a little bit of reflex is all you need so they meet in the middle. A good indicator for the starting point with the amount of up elevator that we're gonna need is just to get these two back ends to touch ever so slightly. We're always gonna be able to come back and adjust this by simply molding up just a little bit more if we need a little more pitch up or flatten it if it's stalling out. On the bottom of your elevator, you're gonna notice a little hash mark and that hash mark is gonna kinda of come up to right where the two creases go together. This is gonna be the starting point for our boom for our tail. So we're simply gonna press that down in there, make sure it fits nice and neat. Then with a small bead of glue, we're gonna hold this in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the little scrap piece of foam I have on the other end, and that's gonna make sure that my boom sits nice and flat to the angle of the tail. Now that our glue is dry, we can go ahead and prep this to be glued onto the wing. Take careful note that the cutout is gonna be to point towards the front, and the power pod slot is gonna be pointing towards the rear. We're gonna go ahead and flip both our tail and our wing upside down, and this is gonna help us tremendously with getting both the dihedral on our tail, on our V-tail, and also the dihedral on our main wing perfectly equal with each other. To make gluing on our boom a little bit easier, I'm just gonna take a little about maybe inch or so of tape, put it on the very front here. I'm gonna center this up on the very center of the power pod box. Tape that down. And it's very easy to make sure that your boom is split between the box and also between our center of gravity indicators. And then I'm just gonna take one more piece of tape. And I'm just gonna center this all up. And then once I'm happy, press it down. Once we're happy with the wing tips all touching the table and also the back of our V-tail, I'll take my hot glue gun. I'll put a bead of glue on each side. You don't have to get too excessive. What I always like to do is to scrape off any excess. And we're gonna hold this for about 30 or 40 seconds. Once the glue is dried, you can make one last check to make sure that everything is nice and centered when you pick it up. I'm just gonna take my razor blade and then fold over those edges of the tape on the front and on the back. There we go. The main airframe of our streak is now done. We're ready to move on to install the PowerPod 4.0. The first thing we're gonna do when hooking up our electronics is obviously we need to unbox our Power Up 4.0. Make sure before you fly you have a fully charged battery. It's very easy and charge fairly quick. Along with that, we also have our accessory pack, which is gonna be all the stuff that you see right here on my right. And that's gonna be your horizontal clips, your vertical clips, and also your sliding clip. Along with that, you'll have six screws and a set of landing gear. For our streak specifically, we're gonna be installing one vertical mount. For our streak, we're gonna go ahead and install our vertical mount with the vents pointing down. Just gonna start one screw and then the other. We'll be able to slide this forward and backward to get the proper center of gravity. And once we do, we'll go ahead and lock those screws down and that will get our center of gravity locked in place. So right there, we just have a little bit of a friction fit. I'm just gonna tighten it just a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Now with our streak here, you're gonna notice that we have a big open rectangle. That's exactly where our vertical mount is gonna go. Along with that, you're gonna see a little tiny tab at the very end. What I'd like you to do is take a razor blade and just kind of open up a little tiny tab at the very trailing edge. Now, every single plane is gonna be a little different depending on how much glue you used, but a great starting point is to place the fin right into the foam at the very trailing edge, like you see here. We can then use the vertical mount to press in and grip on the barbecue skewer and move this forward and backward to be able to get our center of gravity. For any reason you may need more nose weight, you are gonna to need to remove a little bit of foam on the trailing edge of the wing, but this should be very close for where you need to start. Once we find the center of gravity that we wanna start with, we're just gonna take a little tiny piece of tape and we're gonna lock that down. To find your center of gravity, simply put your fingers on the two separate holes, and what we're looking for is just a level or slightly nose down attitude like you see here. At this point, we're ready for a glide test. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we got a little bit of wind, but make sure for your first flight it's as dead calm as possible here. Our plane balances out real nicely. We have our elevator deflected up just so slightly. We can play with the center of gravity and also the deflection on our elevator to get the characteristics we want. We also loaded the FT Easy Streak in the profile, which means all the tunes for this are already programmed for you to give you the best flying experience. Let's go ahead and launch it and see how she flies. I'm gonna hold this down, a little bit of throttle.
All right, friends, thank you for being part of this build. Thank you, Power Up, for making such an awesome module. I definitely want to challenge you guys to build this, have fun, make lots of memories. Also, take some scrap foam board, design your own, and share those results. All right, we'll see you next time.